Welcome to the Radio Vault Mystery Theater. I am Dr. John Weiss, Keeper of the Keeper of the Vault. Our psychotic storyteller is on... Shall I say a psychotic break? Recompense is a hard pill to swallow, especially if you can't see it. Ah, the things a man will hide just because he has a hatred for himself. The lesson we can learn is that there is sometimes beauty within the loathing. We usually all live our own hell. Our story tonight is The Beauty of Seth Loathing. Act One. Vit Cameron could never remember not being the center of attention, the jewel of every crown. He had a charm that was undeniable, but there was a side of him that was disgusting. The way he treated other human beings on the surface was affable, but beneath the surface, desperate, and he thought of others as either tools or trash. We join him as he sits alone in his luxurious home, staring at the book placed on his coffee table. Some bore must have left this book here. What a preposterous title. The Beauty of Self-Loathing. How could anyone find beauty in a laughable concept? <sighs> this quiet is deafening! This looks like something old Elijah Hennings would read. Huh. Looky here. Page one says simply, Elijah Hennings. <laughs> I, I can hear the party going on here. The night before I had that old cantankerous eye sore fired. Hi, Mr. Cameron. <laughs> hey, thank you for inviting me to the company party. Working for you is the best thing that could have happened to me. You're welcome. What was your name again? Elijah. Elijah Hemmings. Elijah? Do you know who Stephen Ratliff is? Yes, Mr. Cameron. I know him. Fantastic. Could you please tell him that I need to speak with him right away? Sure, Mr. Cameron. Elijah Hennings said you needed to talk to me right away? Yes. What does that smelly old guy do for us? He's in environmental services. Ah, oh, yes. A janitor. Should have known. Well, Stephen, how is it that our janitor was invited to the party? Oh, never mind. Look, just get him out. What? We can't just tell him to leave. Okay. Just tell him that security at the office made a big mess, and we need him to handle it for us, and that we'd gladly pay him double time. Okay. Oh. Call security. Tell them to make a big mess. Oh, and fire him after his shift tomorrow. Fitz smiled. Then, looking around, he noticed again that he was all alone in stark silence. No one came around anymore, just him in his palatial house to lay his head alone. End of Act One. And now... Act two. Witt walked around his beautiful home, yet it represented everything he loathed. It also reminded him of the beauty. When you hate yourself, you're not afraid to do anything. Oh, I kind of miss those days when the house was full. All any of them wanted from me is what they could get. <laughs> of course, I was that way too. Who needs people? Huh? Users, leeches, vultures, all of them. <laughs> yes. Rain. Some noise for a change. <sighs> the beauty.
beauty of self-loathing. Who wrote this crap? What the hell does it mean? No, I love who I am. Who would even think of this kind of shit? It's just me here. No one to lie to. I do loathe who I am. I... I am who wrote something like this. I remember this part. That pathetic old man. <laughs> I'm sorry if my performance was unsatisfactory. Uh, please, I beg you to give me another chance. Wow. God, I hate it when they beg. I know, right? No worries, Mr. Cameron. I called security. They should be here soon. Thank God. Mm. Nothing in the liquor cabinet? I need a drink. Damn! Cupboards are bare. I got to go to the store. Eh. It's been a while since I walked in the rain. What? I can feel the rain, but I'm not getting wet. I wonder if the cashier Lola is there. She seems to be the only polite one there. I think she's the only one who ever talks to me there. We didn't know what he was in for when he visited the store. End of Act Two. And now a word from our sponsor. Top scientists agree that with the present rate of consumption, the Earth's supply of gravity will be exhausted before the 24th century. As man struggles to discover cheaper alternatives, we need your help. Please, conserve gravity. Follow these simple suggestions. 1. Walk with a light step. Carry helium balloons if possible. 2. Use tape, magnets, or glue instead of paperweights. 3. Give up skiing and skydiving for more horizontal sports like curling. 4. Avoid showers. Take baths instead. 5. Don't hang all your clothes in the closet. Keep them in one big pile. And 6. Stop flipping pancakes. And now, Act 3. The cashier Witt had taken a liking to was Lola Macy. Lola was an empath and liked many of the regulars at the store. Witt was in for a big surprise today, though. He began to realize that folks didn't really care for him anymore. Wait a minute. Is that the old guy? What was his name? Uh, Elijah. That's it. Wow. Maybe I should offer him his job back. Hey, Elijah! Fine! Go ahead. Just ignore me. I guess I don't really blame you. I am out of here. Oh, look. Lola has no line. Hi, Lola. Hello. Nasty day, huh? This can't be happening again. Another customer steps in front of Vit, and Vit yells at him. The customer ignores him. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I was here first. Wait your turn. Don't ignore me. This can't be happening again. Go away. Leave me alone. Another customer steps in front of Vit, and Vit yells at him. The customer ignores him. Vit watches as Lola runs off. The others just ignore him. 
how things had changed. He used to be the one that everyone clamored to get attention from. Now they just ignored him. He had hated himself and treated everyone the same way he felt deep inside. Now he saw the strange beauty in the hard lesson he was learning. He hurried home. He had some reading to do. I don't remember this part. Why does it say that people talked over me? Can't believe it happened so suddenly. May God have mercy on his soul, <laughs> even though he doesn't deserve it. What do you mean? This isn't supposed to have happened. What? It says, and so a life of loathing comes to an end? Welcome to hell. Everyone has their own version of hell. Hopefully, you'll never know what yours is. <laughs> <laughs> the Beauty of Self-Loathing is a production of Troop of Lost Souls Entertainment and Film Syndicate, written by Charlie Mitchell, produced by Anthony Stopiello, and directed by Rachel Baker. Post-production and sound effects by Brian Collins. Commercials by Joe J. Thomas. Video post by Stephen Shin. Starring the vocal talents of Nick Sarando as Vit Cameron. Terry Larned as Elijah Hennings, George A. Thomas as Stephen Ratliff, Stephanie Warren as Lola Macy. I am J. Anthony McCarthy, Doctor of Darkness. Leave us a comment, like, subscribe, and share. Tune in next week, if you dare. <laughs> <laughs>